friendlies it's a new week welcome back to my channel um so a couple things this week i have my uh, job orientation today with uniqlo so i don't know how that's going to affect the rest of my week but if i don't have well hopefully i don't have to work this weekend because then i'll be able to attend both days of geek girl con which i'm very excited for it'll be my second time going and I fell in love with it the first time, so I really hope I get to attend both days. But I should, at the very least, be able to attend one day, but we'll find out. And if I am going, I will be Gatomon from Digimon. And I made a, or I made a few improvements to the cosplay, so I am very excited to be able to wear it again. And this weekend I was in Borders and I decided to pick up a couple um, issues of Cosplay Culture magazine and I wanted to open those and show everyone what's inside because I think it's pretty cool. Okay. These are the Cosplay Culture magazines I picked up this past weekend and this one came in plastic and I haven't opened it yet. But one cool thing I thought about this one so this is like, there, it's a couple of Halloween specials. So one cool thing I learned about this is they offer, um, let me find it. Pattern. Oh, page 26 through 29. So like, this one is for like a scale mail collar and it just it teaches you how to make this cool like scale mail collar like it'd be perfect for like some sort of sorceress or viking queen or anything and I've worked with scale mail before like this is definitely going to be a uh, um it would it would be a good challenge but let's open up this one So it comes with a whole simplicity pattern for a wizard's cloak and robes and hat, so that's awesome. I've been wanting to make a wizarding hat, and it looks like a cool and useful cloak. So hey, that's that's pretty cool. Like the magazine was only like this one was six dollars. This one was eight dollars. And a pattern on its own is usually eight dollars and up, so that's that's awesome. And in this one, it looks to be more of the same, like different cosplayer interviews and photographers. Oh my gosh, here's a like here's a fawn makeup tutorial. Like, I know these are available everywhere online, but there's just something really nice about having it in print, too. And that looks fun. I might have to try it. Oh, and I made, I made some horns. Let me see how this is recommended. Oh yeah, so that's, this one's easy. You don't even have to have, like, an actual antler to base it off of. It's just using, like, pipe cleaners and building up from there. Um, what else do we got? Wow, a lot of tutorials in this one. Um, how to wear pleather. Uh, victory roll tutorial. That's... I've never known how to do that. Uh, whole section on body paint. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Look at the Sylvanas body paint! That is wild! I hope it's not too glary with the light, but wow! Okay, I'm getting inspired to try some body paint. Oh yes, lots of Halloween horror themed stuff. I love Halloween, but I don't like scary movies. Easy top and bustle can be worn with a corset or wide belt and leggings for a quick cosplay. Okay, so 
And then we've got different animal ears. Wow, this one is so helpful. I'm glad I picked it up. Building the fallout for Batman for cosplay. Oh, okay. So that's that's a weapon, I think. But yeah, I am just I'm really excited. I picked these up and I think I would definitely recommend it to any cosplayer, really. So that's this month's Cosplay Culture Magazine. Saturday morning we decided to do a coffee run before we headed down to Geek Girl Con but now we're on our way to back to get ready. time like I just the first time I went and then like this time again it's just it's such an awesome experience to see so many just girls and people like being safe and empowering each other and like having a good time and like the panels are all women who are very passionate about what they do and it just gives me a lot of passion and I bought some cool stuff and I want to show it off a little and talk about it. And I'll of course link, uh, if I have a card and the information from the artist, I will link it next in the description because everything I bought is really cool and you guys should check it out too. So first up, Let's talk about the stuff that was free, like just as an attendee, like in the Geek Girl Con swag bag, because it is, it is intense. So the badge and pass design were super cool this year. 
a coupon for a game store in the area. Um, these are some items from some of the corporate sponsors, like uh, the enamel pin and buttons are from Unity. It's a game engine. And then this from Double Down, which is a game company, is like a mirror. Like, how cool is that? And it says, we love geek girls. But let's, let's talk about the nail wraps from Espionage Cosmetics. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little. So it's like glittery chainmail like nail stickers and then a dragon scale for like an offset one. But like, oh my god, like everyone got one of those. And then, like, this is an invitation and coupon code to, like, a Halloween-themed event from Espionage Cosmetics, and it's so exciting! So first, let's talk about these adorable Shingen Crimson stickers. Um, it's from the anime Show by Rock and I saw this set and I'm like, I had to get it. They're so cute. Um, some Eevee earrings. Super cute. This is from an artist in Idaho, I believe. And, like, I, I fell in love with this design. Like, it's kind of a moose, like, girl with moose antlers. And she had it on all sorts of things, but I picked up uh, another little pocket mirror, so that's super cute. Then, I, of course, had to get some Digimon stuff. And I bought a Geek Girl Con water bottle. But lastly, I want to talk about these... Um, two uh, cosmetic items I got. So the nail polish I'm wearing. Let's let's find some decent lighting. So it, the color is Diva. Like okay, the company is Dragon Sworn Cosmetics, and she does like nerdy inspired makeup. And I'll definitely link it because it's like all natural, it's all made by hand, and this diva color is fantastic. And it went on super smooth, and it so far has not chipped. And then this cute lip gloss is named after Yuna from Final Fantasy X. And let's see, I will... I will, I will put some on because it's just, it goes on super pretty. So, firstly, can we talk about how cute this packaging is? Like, it's, it's lollipop shape, so picture having like three or four of these, like in a little cup on your desk, and it would be super cute. And they also sell like normal tubes of lip gloss, but I couldn't resist how cute it was. My only complaint is that on a flat surface, it uh, it doesn't have a flat bottom, so it can't rest like that, except in the palm of my hand, apparently. But let's let's put it on. Like I've I wore this the second day of Geek Girl Con, and it was it's just a nice sheer like shimmery pink, and it stayed all day, and it felt really nice on my lips, and. It smells like chocolate, and it's it's all. I think I said this once before, but the cosmetics are all natural. But it goes on really nice, and it's got a doe foot applicator, which means you can have a lot of control, like putting it on your lips. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. So thanks for watching my vlog this week including all my geek girl con footage and i hope to talk to everyone soon so have a great day